Hi guys, Massman here again, um, back with the second part of the ratio and proportion series. Uh, today we're going to be looking at proportion. If you missed the first part, which was about ratio, then I will leave a link um, down below or, or I'll put a card up on the video so you can click on there if you'd like to watch that first. Um, but if you've already seen it, then I'll just get, get straight on with it. So today I'm going to be looking at proportion and here is a picture of a square. And now, proportion is really another way of writing fractions, okay? And this is how they look. So, if I take a look at my square here, okay, I can see that there's one, two, three, three yellow squares and one white square. So, I can say that three in every four squares are yellow okay and if I was to show that as a fraction I'd write three quarters now I could also say that one in every four squares are white so I can I can I can show it from two two different perspectives there now here's another example with some stars now I have one two white stars and six blue stars but in total there are eight stars so I, I could say two in every eight stars are white now just as in ratio and in fractions okay we should simplify when we can so because this pattern repeats one white star three blue stars one white star three blue stars I can actually ignore this bit here and I can simplify this to say one in every four stars are white and I could also say that three in every four stars are blue Now I'm going to go through a, um, a proportion word problem. So in my herd of zebras, two in every nine zebras are orange. N not sure there's such things as an orange zebra, but never mind. Um, so there are 36 zebras in my herd. How many are orange? So I can work this out by representing this using dots. So, well, actually, first of all, before I do that, though, it says two in every nine. So what's that as a fraction? It's two out of nine. Okay, so I can take that fraction and draw it like this. Two in every nine zebras. Now, I'm going to use black dots because that's normally what color zebras are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in total, I have nine zebras, and I've colored two of them orange. Okay, so at the minute, I have nine zebras, but it says that I have 36. So I have to repeat the pattern again until I get to 36. So there's seven black zebras and two orange. So how many is that? So nine and another nine makes 18. So here's another two orange zebras. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would make 27. So I think I just need one more set now. So. Altogether, I have 36 zebras. And how many of them are orange? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So the answer is eight orange zebras. Now, I could work this out a different way if I wanted to. It would have been quicker for me to say to myself, 36. divided by 9. How many 9s are in 36? Well, there's 4. And then I could have multiplied 4 by the two orange zebras. And that would have given me 
eight orange zebras. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I uh, please let me know if it was helpful by leaving me a thumbs up down below. If you'd like more free maths videos, then please hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm also going to be making another video to this series, which is going to uh, talk about the difference between ratio and proportion because a lot of people do get uh, mixed up with those quite often. So um, stay tuned for that one, and uh, I'll see you next time.